For the header area of our site, we want a background image that contains the logo. Again, we're going to use CSS to do that. And I make sure that I'm in my header div. And I go to the pencil. And my rules come up. Under the background, I'm going to choose color white. Browse for the image and choose header 2. Now when I hit apply, I will see that that appears in that area. I'm going to say OK. Now I don't want this logo placeholder, so I'm going to click on that. And if you'll see in our source code that image is highlighted, I'm just going to hit delete. What that did, unfortunately, was made our header very thin once that image was gone. What I'll need to do is put in a rule that tells our file how high that height should be for that header div. So I'm going to again go back to my CSS and this time I'm going to choose box and under height I'm going to type in 128 and you'll see over here that's pixels and hit OK and now that stretches across the top of our site. Now I knew that was 128 because I had created that file in Photoshop. Let's work with the footer too to get that looking more like the footer in the bank track site. If I highlight this, it's going to give me this breadcrumb down here. I'm going to click on the footer div, go to my CSS, look at my rules. In the background is this strange brown color. I'm going to make that white also. My background image is fbackground2.ping. I'm going to choose that and say apply. Now that is a thin image but it's repeating all the way across the back. I also want my footer to be a little bit higher than what they have there so I can see a little bit of the gradation. So I'm going to add a rule to make my footer a height of 50 pixels and apply. Now when I preview this in my browser and hit refresh, I'm starting to see the header and footer that I want.